Do you know how cringe it is to listen to you lot, right? Bournemouth have form in this. But we were, we were two nil down to Bournemouth earlier on this season and came back. And you lot are the most cringeworthy, desperate, lot, honestly, try-hard bunch of like, fan, fan base I've ever heard in my life. You are, the luckiest, you are the luckiest club I've ever, ever come across in my life. You scored in the eighth minute. You scored the eighth minute of the, of the six minutes added on. And you celebrate like a kid that's just been given a packet of Percy Pigs, honestly. <laughs> Dan, do you know what I heard there? What I heard in your what? your wonderful rant? I heard, wow, 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 wow. I heard, oh, God, we lost 1-0 to Wolves at the weekend. What's the best thing I can do on a Monday morning? I can call up TalkSport and cry about how much Arsenal fans are having a great season. And oh, we hate our manager. Our manager's, he's a born winner, but guess what? He can't even get Spurs to win. What's happening, Dan? Don't worry about Arsenal. Worry about yourselves. It's not about Spurs. It's about, it's about Arsenal. You're right. It's about Arsenal. Top of the league, Arsenal. Where where are, where are Spurs at the moment? How much do you think you're going to hang on to fourth place, Dan? I think we will, because I think yesterday was a bit of an anomaly with, um, with, with Liverpool winning that convincingly. So, I mean, look, you should be talking about United, really, this morning. But Oh, we have. We've spent a whole time talking about United. <laughs> We've spent a little bit of time talking about Arsenal. And don't worry, we're also going to spend a bit of time talking about Blow Spurs you. as well. Jamie O'Hara is <laughs> coming on, your, your team legend. He's coming on at 8.30, so I bet you'll be tuned in for that. Just one other thing. Every little thing is falling your way as well. Like every is it? Thing, you, you've had no, you've had no <laughs> major injury. No, no major injury apart from Jesus. Apart from Jesus, our you've top got, goal scorer. Hang got, on a minute. Uh, what? Got, and Partey, got, one of our most important players. Oh. You've got full of, well, like, he was out for a couple of games. Come on. He was out for uh, more than a couple of games. Then, but then does that not got, count? So you've, got full, full, you've got Fulham next week who are missing, the, missing their best player. Brilliant. You sound like Adrian Durham. Is this Adrian Durham? I just got to check. No, no, Is this Aid no, this no, morning? No, but, no, but I, no, but I, no? I agree with Adrian Durham on the fact that you are uh, uh, about your luck. It's hey, how about, how, how's your luck signing Richarlison? He hasn't even scored yet. Uh, yeah, not great. I've done that <laughs> one, Dan, it's been lovely speaking to you this morning. Enjoy the rest of your miserable season and make sure you call up again later. If you're a Liverpool fan, it just took you, what, 30 years to win the Premier League and now you don't mind about it anymore. What, the Premier League? Who, who says we're not playing in the Premier League? You're not you're allowed to play that. in the Premier League. No, they're, no. They're no. The saying if you do it, you won't. Yeah. Check them to court. They cannot stop us. No, there is a rule. There's a rule that we just read out on the show this morning. L9 in the Premier League rules. You can't do it. You're prohibited for doing it. It'll never happen. That is exa- Wenger was right. This league will go ahead. That is exactly what they said in a statement this morning, John. Literally what they said. Who did? The Premier League. They said they would throw them out. Would you throw your top horses out the best races? You wouldn't at all, would you? Well, why would you put it in the, in the rule book then? Why would you have a rule to say that you can't do it? I'm saying that it's unfair that you can afford to go, but the rest of the unfair? fan base why can't. A... I'm glad you said that at the end because it certainly won't be the best Premier League or the best league in general in the world if six of the best teams or perceived best teams leave it and go somewhere else. It is. Listen, I'm going to go back now. I'm going to get, get three legs, have I? Why have I got to get three legs? Because mathematically, that's what you need to qualify. To win the, to win the group? To qualify through. To come second or first? To come first or second. You don't know, do you? You need three you legs to, to no, guarantee right. you're going to go through. I need three legs. Well, I'm going to try my socks off tomorrow. Well, either way, it looks like you're enjoying yourself. I can't say bollocks, can I? Well, you just did. We have to apologise for that. What a great interview. I'm glad we did this one live. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very much, Phil. I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Would say, how many live games have we got in talk sport this season? 450. With 450 live games, we've got more football and radio than anywhere else. You never lose it, Lara. It's time to turn to talk sport. I actually followed you ages ago, and then I unfollowed you. <gasps> <laughs> Me? Most people do that. I've actually muted him. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I can't remember exactly what it was. You were, like, flogging a microwave or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I've had enough of this, and I unfollowed you. That and then, and then he is too good. I bet I know what I'm it was so as well. Sorry. And then you followed me, and I was like, 
Oh, go on then. I Let's give bad. him another go. Yeah, let's yeah. give him another go. Pity He's Pete's Holland. mate. We'll give him another go. Jamie's gonna win, isn't it? I think Jamie. I think probably Jamie's gonna win. It's I think Ramesh might be. Um, I think that Tom. <laughs> Stop, back, Laura. I, I, think, on, Laura. I feel like Tom might be like a slow improver. No, I, 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 I reckon, you know, there'd be two jabs wasted on Tom for COVID because he can't catch. <laughs> 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 He's going last. <laughs> 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 While he's digging out my suit, my suit was banging. <laughs> and yes, the trousers looked like they were really high, but it was a waistcoat. <laughs> like, come on, stop digging me out. I woke up to about a million messages on Twitter saying, how high are your trousers? Honestly, <laughs> the amount of times I got tagged in it as well at the weekend, have you seen this? And every time I, la I laughed equally as hard as I did the first time I saw it. Um, it was a lovely suit, Jamie, but you did get sucked into the, um, the making a the faux pas of sitting down with a waistcoat on. The, and the it problem is, is when up. you wear them low waistcoats, when you sit down, it looks like you're trout. You look like Simon Cowell, right? Not to dig you out again, but I've just realised your hoodie that you're wearing this morning has a leather pocket in the front of it. Yeah. Interesting. And you can unzip it? What's the <laughs> <laughs> why are you come? Why are you coming for? You look like you're wearing a go kart costume. Well, maybe I am. <laughs> I want you to try. Can you try and do an, an impression of, 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 of Simon? Simon? No, how do you? I mean, I've not got the accent for a kick off, have I? I'll, I'll, I'll settle soft, guys. Go on. So, um, if you ask <laughs> Gabby, if, if you ask Gabby what two plus two is, he would say it equals yellow. They actually twerp. <laughs> The little twit, the, the, the charlatan moron. <laughs> Absolute moron. Very good. That was good. Very <laughs> good. My favourite is his advert for his podcast. Where he's yeah. Like, Are you tired of listening to pointless podcasts? <laughs> That's what it is. You've got to go put on the pee. <laughs> Alice Band wearing nitwit. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn, Ali. Oh, on, give it a go. I can. Are you tired of listening to pointless podcasts? <laughs> 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 if at the end of the season Manchester United finish in the top four, will you come back on and apologise to Eric Ten Hag? Absolutely not. But when they, when <laughs> we handle them on Sunday and when we win the league and when United do not win the league because they got rid of the goat, I expect Eric Ten Hag to get on bended knee, beg me for forgiveness and apologise <laughs> to Cristiano Ronaldo for the shocking disrespect that he showed him. <laughs> we'll have to explain who you are to him first. <laughs> like Mike Dean. Is that controversial? I think it is. I think it's it is. You know, that's, the most, that's, that's the most controversial one I could think of. Yeah. I like Mike Dean. I you wouldn't like him if you play. played in a football game that's with him, what, your referee, Laura. That's what I mean. I, just, I, think, <laughs> I think he's brilliant. I really, I find him very entertaining. I think he's a brilliant referee. Um, and I like Mike Dean. So there you go. I felt, I felt like a dirty secret. <laughs> <laughs> it really did, didn't it? <laughs>